We begin with breaking news right now at 530. You want to make sure you avoid 475 South in Maumee. It's because of this. A crash has shut down that part of the interstate. Crews are cleaning up right now. There is a semi actually hanging over a concrete barrier. But our team this morning definitely has you covered. As always, Stephen Jackson has a way for you to get around that this morning. But we want to get out to our Zainab Shaib. She is the only reporter there on the scene working to get the very latest information. Zainab, we have learned that there's a car involved in this as well. Yes, and Tiffany, as we speak right now, crews are working hard to remove that car. They're actually working to tow it. You can see right here. Now, it's really hard to tell what kind of car it is because it's so mangled. It's uh, completely gone. It needs to be towed. And over here, you can see the semi that's just hanging over the concrete barrier. Now, that's uh, uh, being towed as well. They're working hard to get that out of the way and open the lanes back up. Now, this all happened around 2 o'clock this morning. A semi crashed as well as a car, leaving the car mangled and the trailer of the semi hanging over the side of 475 South near US 24 and Monclova Road. Now, we don't know exactly what happened here. Here, but of course, I'll continue to find out and uh, stick out here all morning long to find out more details and the conditions of the drivers as well. Now, 475 South has been uh, had several crashes since the start of the new year from US 24 to Slovenia area. Now, one involving an Amazon semi truck that caught fire, causing bumper to bumper standstill traffic. And another one was also a semi uh, truck that caught fire as well. Those crashes happened again in January. Now, southbound lanes are closed at this time. So if you're heading towards that direction, our Stephen Jackson will help you get around this whole crash. Good morning, Stephen. Good morning to you, Zainab. So, yeah, a really tricky area, as Zainab just mentioned. We've seen several crashes through there. I did get a chance to speak with uh, regional dispatch for Lucas County. They tell me at this point they don't know how long this closure will be in place 475 heading southbound near Salisbury Road. So uh, you can detour this morning by getting off on uh, several exits, the one at Salisbury Road or before that you can take airport highway. Northbound lanes remain open this morning. That's a look at your Contrada Law Firm traffic tracker.